Hello guys and welcome to episode 53 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we are starting with a naval battle against the pirates. Uh, once again we need to destroy and try and capture some galleons. So that's what this fleet is just about to do. After we destroy this navy, we will be hopefully destroying the Moroccan fleet as well. But that will require us to repair these, so that will be a couple of turns time. But let's take this onto the battle map and we will make sure to capture them. Because then this, if we can capture two more galleons combined with our other fleet, will be very, very strong. So that's what I'm looking to do. Meanwhile, we will be looking to attack the Moroccans once our forces are replenished in Spain. This fog, though, is less than ideal. Let's let our galleon go first. It can trade blows most efficiently. Uh, then we'll have this one. Then we'll have this guy. And those guys can come in the tail there. Right. Wonderful. Group them. Get ourselves underway. We cannot see what is ahead of us. <laughs> There's a lot of fog. There they are. In the distance. Classic pirate battle this is. In the fog. I do need to make sure the entire group is moving. I like how the galleon kind of waited there. The other ships to catch up before it moves out. Yeah, they like to keep equal spacing, which is really good. We are kind of going into the wind here, which will allow us to get off the first volley, I hope. I'm just going to get to the point where I just micro each ship individually. There we go. Nice amount of damage there. Now I did get a mention in the comments previously about uh, capturing these ships. It may be better for me to fire at their sails after they're already routing rather than just continuing to absolutely pound them. Oh, that hold damage is just ludicrous. One thing I might be able to do actually is, is turn into the wind come back on myself. Again, the whole damage there. Very nice. turn back like so again and we can swing back round and get the other volley off would be good have this guy swing his guns this one swing its guns nice we're hoping that this one routes soon it should do after the volley from this galleon grounded nice <laughs> hopefully we didn't sink it though that would have been quite awkward. <laughs> yeah, I do need to have like one of these move faster just to get out of the way of the other guns. Because at the moment it's not ideal. I might just be able to like break in honestly. Yeah, we'll do it that way. And we can shoot them. Twice. There we go. Look at that, lining up perfectly. 
double board side to bring the galleon round. They're going to be routing shortly. My galleon took quite a lot of hits throughout this battle, but maybe we can get the job done. Okay, let's uh, continue. We'll switch them all to chain shot. And then we will try and catch up with it and maybe board it. Nice. Pretty sure that worked. I think they surrendered. Nice, yeah, we can take both of them. Good stuff. Ready for action. And now we can go into yes. port. And next turn we'll fix them all up, and then we will use that navy to attack. Morocco and that is looking to be a very strong navy. I like having more galleons at my disposal because they can defend the Indian trade. Okay. So any more things I need to do with my fleets. So I would like to harass the trade here but I'm pretty sure that this navy would just crush us so I can't really get away with that at the moment. There's two like huge Swedish navies. Got to be glad that they aren't blockading me at the moment. We've moved all of our armies, I believe, in the last episode. So that's pretty much everything done. Let's move on to the next turn. I can go no further. Rest. Russia just taking a chill pill for now, which is good. Although we will inevitably be at war with them again in probably a few turns. In the meantime, it's just about whether or not we can kill off some of Sweden. And just as I say, <laughs> Swedish do start to blockade me. Which is kind of annoying. I'm probably going to have to recruit some militia just to hold back their forces at the docks. And stop them from damaging them and just like occupying them, right? That's the main thing. I'm really not looking forward to having to manage all of these troops that the 13 colonies have everywhere. That is going to be frustrating to say the least. Oh, they're coming at me again. At Gibraltar. Fair enough. They're going to be backed up by two armies. Let's jump straight in. The idea here will be the same as before. I think I have more units available, right? So I should be able to cover more of the wall, regardless of, regardless of the amount of men they have. So that will be useful for getting a lot of damage done before they start climbing. Also, our cannons are now available in the settlement rather than outside of it. So they may come in handy if they breach. I will probably just have them lined up like so. Alright, uh, in the meantime, let's get the rest of the guys off the walls so that I can manage this correctly. Right, we'll 
we'll have these guys here. Have some guys on there. Some guys there. Okay. Is that everything? Right, we'll have the Phylocarm Cicerone on the wall this time as well. Because they are actually not too bad, especially against like militia infantry. And they can sort of cover the backsides if they try and run around me. And that is fine. I'm only going to deploy these if they manage to take the walls for any reason. Once again, they seem to be consolidating to the left. May require me to supplement some more forces around here. I might do that in advance. As long as I'm firing all the cannons, I don't really mind. The cannons can definitely do a lot of damage to their camels and horses. That's the main thing. Right, here come some guys relatively close. Still going to use the cannons to try and hit their camels, though. Yes, Seems like the best bet. Orders. Might be able to get some shots down onto these guys, that would be nice. These chaps should be able to fire, surely. Still all pushing around to the left side here. I might bring around these two units. do like focusing on this side. This time around there isn't as many men to kill on the walls so I can and should win out quite significantly actually. Especially with them putting all of these camels on top of each other. Shots that are going through are doing tons of damage. I'd like to man this cannon as well if I can. There we go. One extra cannon on target. That is good. Are we being attacked anyway yet? I don't think we are. We are getting a few shots off here, which is nice. Although these guys are now taking quite a lot of damage from those horses, so I might just pull them off the walls for the time being. And then when they start moving closer, we can move back up on the walls.
like so. You can see these camel nomads have moved right up next to us. Same deal here. And now we can kill them off very quickly. What these guys are doing. Wonderful. All the camels are dying. They've massacred so many camels against this fort. Are they going to attack with the rest of their troops? I mean, most of their desert warriors aren't doing anything. And all of their horsemen and camel warriors have routed now, so... This may be a waiting game. If it is, I will wait it out. And I will just edit it out for you guys. See if they actually go ahead and do anything. But here we are, still waiting, and you can see there is only one minute left on the timer. We have it sped up, so that shouldn't be long. But yeah, this, my friends, is why you always put a time limit on Total War Battles. Because sometimes the AI wants to screw you. We'll take the heroic victory, thank you very much. Apologies if the end screens don't show up for you guys. I've noticed that my recordings have been kind of lagging. But um, yeah, 1,229 lost for them. We lost 65. Very nice indeed. We have been raided a lot, which is unfortunate. Had a lot of navies attack our trade, which will significantly limit the amount of income we get. Yeah. <laughs> Only 2,300. That really sucks. Oh, a tactical retreat. God damn. That's really irritating because, of course, the uh, 13 colonies or the 13 pieces of crap couldn't get the job done so we're gonna have to move him around this way instead we'll get the army up from St. Augustine I'm gonna spend the cash on upgrading these buildings so I don't have to keep men there for the public order move up like so I might keep some of the damaged men down here just to sort out public order they're saying that we could probably just exempt from tax, right? Yeah, that'll do the job. Okay, what are we up against over here? Two units of artillery, two units of uh, cav. That's actually fine. Uh, we're going to want to take these guys over towards Chikasa, though. The trouble with, with Chikasa is it's like really annoyingly... Gonna have to leave a cab there. Um, it's really annoyingly tucked away between all these mountains. Makes it really difficult to get to. By the way, Downing Street. The first Lord of the Treasury, leader of the government of Great Britain, has moved into a new residence at number 10, Downing Street, Westminster. The house was until recently three buildings a house at the back once adjoining to the old White Hall Palace and two smaller ramshackle residences, one until recently occupied by the amusingly named Mr. Chicken, who has since moved on, the other being the aforementioned number 10. Following an extensive refit and redecoration under the guidance of the prestigious architect William Kent, the buildings have truly been given a new lease of life. 
The monarch originally offered the property to the first lord as a personal gift for services to the nation, but he has accepted only on the condition that it be a gift to the office of the first lord and not himself specifically. So successive holders of the highest office would also be able to live there. Favorite raided, of course. Um, our port is finished, which is nice. And it looks like we are in position now to attack the Moroccan Navy. Um, we don't really have any cash to fix these guys up, which really sucks. But maybe we have enough anyway. I'm just a little bit concerned that the galleons that we have are, are really severely damaged. And if we have enough slots here, I might just be able to merge the two. Like, I could move this one to here. And if we select all of the navy here except from the Indiaman, we can move them down and join that navy. That's going to make that navy sizable, to say the least. Unfortunately, we don't quite have the same firepower as these light galleys. But our hull strength is considerably higher. Maybe I just fix up as many ships as I can and then use those fixed ships first. Yeah, our Admiral did die. I did notice that. That sucks. Especially when we're about to go into a big naval battle. But Morocco doesn't seem to wanting to be landing anything anywhere, so that's okay. This army is currently replenishing and will continue to do so, so that is fine. Once they are replenished, we should be able to attack quite successfully. Um, meanwhile, this army does need to replenish, so we'll move into Strasbourg for the time being, as I'm not sure that going for the battle with Savoy is, is the best idea just yet. We do have quite good troop numbers. It would just be better if they were all completely replenished. Yes, my lord. Hmm. I think we'll just take it easy. Let's get into Strasbourg. We'll chill in there for now. Right, this army is fixing up and we'll have to take on the Swedish up here. Who do have a sizable army themselves. Got a few cannons at their disposal. That is going to be a pretty scary fight. Emmanuel is not doing anything. Christian Hogarth is staying where he is. Carl Madison might be able to use this Indiaman actually to get onto Martinique. By the left, march. Let's do that. Make ready, march. Oh, we can do it in one turn. Oh, okay. Did not realise that. Well, that would be something worth doing then. And our Indian will remain stay safe in the port in the same turn as well. Brilliant. Uh, let's get this battle underway. I'm not sure there's a wall there, so it should be quite simple. Just a matter of uh, killing off their melee forces before they get close. We have the cannons to use canister, so should be relatively simple. It's just a shame that we, I guess, damaged the port by using it. But we wouldn't have been able to make the attack in the same turn if we hadn't. 
I will do the same thing, keep the cannons sort of in the middle, I guess. And then we can have our line infantry kind of in the middle of them. Lovely. These guys can spread out on the flanks. Okay. And the deployment. And they are going to come towards us. They kind of have to. Kind of want a general snipe if I can. Fire at this pirate mob, and maybe the shots will go over and kill the general at some point. Oh, nice hit there. 23. And down to. And the general's dead. Fantastic. Right now we move into canister range. I think these guys are going to have to come in on the flanks, like so. These guys have guns. They do, okay. I think that's a good thing, because if they were all melee forces, it could be a problem. I do have some buccaneers. That's kind of a problem. Fortunately, we have killed the general already, so that's good. If we can just make them rout and not have to kill them all, then that would be fantastic. Alright, those cannons got wrecked. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. side buccaneers versus my colonial militia come on cannons can do a better job than that Just make sure we finish those off. These guys need to get into melee mode. Over here we've been routed. Kinda sucks. One thing I might be able to do is just pull off with this engagement. And just... Actually, let's just fire into their general bodyguard there. Well, that was not the general bodyguard, that was the buccaneers. Are we starting to lose this battle? We were in such a good position. I think regardless of how well we do, as long as we win it, that's all that matters. The trouble is, these Buccaneers, they have really good melee combat ability.
if we can keep them at range, then we're fine, but unfortunately, it's easier said than done. I'd like my men to sort of recover, though, if they can. doing. Mm. And my cannons are just messed up. Just put some shots into their back, please. General please just fire. Thank you. Break off! Oh, that's good. Now we can have these guys fire at those buccaneers. Meanwhile, these guys are going to run back. They will probably have to reload. As long as they fire before these guys get attacked, then we should be okay. Come on. Not like there's a hurry or anything. Okay, yeah. There you go. And we'll finish off, finish them off that way. These buccaneers nearly got the better of me again. Not this time. Right, let's just speed things up. Need to keep them spread out, really. Okay, lovely. That could have ended very badly, but apparently that was still a heroic victory, so I'll take it. And all of our units survived. Which is very nice, actually. It costs just that little bit too much to repair. Otherwise, I would repair that trade port. But uh, that gives us Martinique. Uh, I might have to exempt these guys from tax just to stop them rebelling. Let's have a look elsewhere at our policies. I think we're all good, aren't we? Yeah. And unfortunately, that has been my time. So... We had a couple of interesting battles. We had the one against Morocco, where we did a lot of damage, but unfortunately they didn't really finish it. I just had to wait it out. Um, we had the, that pirate battle, which was really cool. And now we're going to be looking to take the fight, maybe just to Teleco here, because we do have this army coming down, right? And we can maybe just meet up with this army and just go and attack Teleco and then just take Jakarta straight after. I think that would be the best way to do it. Then what we need to do is, after we have command of the 13 colonies, is wipe out the Pueblo, um, because they've been taking land off of the 13 colonies, which is really annoying. Um, then after that, we maybe can go back to war with Spain, clean up the rest of America, and job done. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking to do. Uh, we will need to invest in our navy more so in the future because Sweden's really making things difficult. 
especially with the the navy imports here i've got the navy import up here at glasgow yeah that's just been a pain in the bum but that's all for now guys hopefully you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye